we're going to start by opening up our image. Um, I'll link to all these in the description. They're all free images. So first we have a little grassy landscape. And what we're going to do is get rid of this fence. And there's a few ways to do it. First thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And the reason I'm going to do that is we don't want to edit the actual image itself. With some of these um, with some of these tools, you can basically do it over the top so you're not really changing the first image itself in case you want to go back. And let me give you an example of that. Um, let's use the clone stamp. And the way the clone stamp works is usually I tend to give it kind of a soft edge so it blends in better. And you click Alt, select where you want it to sample from, and go over. And after a few swipes, you can see it's replacing the fence with grass, which is awesome. The one problem is, uh, if you look right here, it looks pretty obvious, at least to me, that it's been edited. So, with it being on a separate layer, you can turn it on and off, or erase certain parts of it if you want. So, here's me erasing some. Um, I'm pretty unhappy with the entire thing, so I'm just going to get rid of it all. And I'll show you a few other things you can do. Let's try selecting the area and doing a content aware fill. Now, Photoshop just kind of guesses and uses a bunch of algorithms to basically replace what's there with stuff that's around it. And sometimes it works pretty well, sometimes it doesn't. So this is one where you can't do it on a separate layer. So what I recommend doing is duplicating the original layer. That way, if you don't like it, you can just delete that layer. So you're going to go to Fill, Content Aware, and we'll see what it does. See, that just looks odd to me. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. This time it didn't really do a good job, in my opinion. Um, might have been better to feather the edges of my selection, but oh well. Let's I'll do it the way I usually do it, and then you can see that and go from there. I typically just use the clone stamp tool. Um, sometimes I'll put the opacity lower. It de really depends on what I'm doing. But the main thing you want to do is not just basically click and drag and go wild that way, because then you get weird stuff happening like lines appearing like almost like waves stuff like that so I'm gonna show you how I normally do it and hopefully it works <laughs> so you kinda want to just go at a fairly slow pace and if you start to notice like some waves forming and stuff, then you can basically go over them like that. Like sometimes it ends up being obvious that you're cloning and then sometimes it doesn't really. Um, right here, these two areas look pretty close to the same thing. So I'm gonna kind of change it up a bit so it doesn't look like you, like you added it in yourself. So we'll just spend a few minutes doing that. I might speed this up in the post processing. Basically the reason, I'll just show you this real quick, the reason I make it a soft edge is because if you have a hard edge you can clearly see where I'm adding in which doesn't really look that great. Um, so with a hard edge you don't see that edge around the circle as much because it's soft. So, oops, I'm getting some of the pole in there. You can hear how much I'm clicking because I'm, I'm basically selecting an area, doing it a few times seeing how it looks, and then you can always go back over. Like, once you click, it's not the end. You can always, like, if, let's say, I didn't like this area right here, I want some dirt in it. You just add it in. 
pretty simple. Now, it really you're really relying on your eye to get it to look kind of realistic because it's easy, in my opinion, I've done it plenty of times, to make it look fake. If you if you start getting it kind of blurry, it almost looks like it was, I guess, clearly added in yourself. So, And then also, if you take a selection from the edge, you're going to get an edge just like that. So we'll, we'll fix that by adding that into it. see before and after see that, that doesn't look too bad I, I think if if someone was to see it without seeing the before they wouldn't really know you changed it 